I, I want to play you what Joe Rogan said. And, and the left, the left is very, very good at defining an issue and repeat, 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 repeat. It, don't worry about facts. Don't worry about reality. Don't worry about contradictions. Just keep saying it. And it enters into the culture. And then it's just there. And nobody knows where it came from. And nobody challenges it. It's just now the truth. And they are definitely doing it with regard to this concept of genocide. To the point where Alex, to the point where, uh, uh, you know, Joe Rogan now is joining AOC in blaming Israel for genocide. Now, Joe Rogan is not the smartest guy on the, on the block. This is part of it. But let's, let's watch this and then let's analyze his, quote, reasoning. And I'm using quotes around reasoning because there's no reasoning here. So, so, so let's watch this and see, uh, and, and see what, what, what Joe Rogan said. I, I'm going to try, I really am, I'm going to try to play the whole thing without interrupting and then we'll uh, go back and, um, and analyze it and um, talk about it. Okay, so here is, uh, here is Joe Rogan. Like, look what's going on with Candace Owens and I, Ben Shapiro. Did, like, what did she say? I want to know what, was she, what she was fired for. Because was it criticism of Israel? Was it, I mean, did she show that Edward Snowden video that he put up on Twitter that shows them oh, maybe. drone bombing those kids that are those men, I should say, unarmed people that were walking towards the rubble that yeah. clearly weren't causing yeah. any danger to anybody? Yeah, they right. just bombed them? Yeah, no. I, I, you know, I have to stop here because I, uh, otherwise you'll forget. Right, here's the, you saw the video? Uh, this is the video. It's, it's been circulating the last few days. I, I mean, it's 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 a weird video because um, here's the video. I'll show it again. Well, they put four up on men. Twitter that shows them oh, maybe. Uh, drone bombing those and, kids and, and, that are those men, I should say, bombed. unarmed people that were walking towards the rubble right, that right. clearly weren't causing yeah. any danger. To any clearly not causing any danger. Now, uh, think about this. Uh, four men, Israel assigned a drone to follow them. Uh, wouldn't you ask yourself why? Is Israel just randomly looking for civilians in Gaza and shooting at them? I mean, maybe, but uh, there are a lot bigger clusters of people than these four men. They're all over the place. Uh, it, it, it could have gone anywhere. It could have shot 20 men, 50 men, the crowds. There are crowds in Gaza. You see it on, on, on the Internet all the time. Why, why is Israel expending the resources? to assign a drone to follow these four men. How do we know they're not a danger to anybody? How do we know that? Now, Rogan says they're not armed because Al Jazeera said they're not armed. How do we know they're not armed? How do we know what they're holding underneath their jackets? But, okay, if they're not armed, Maybe they were armed five minutes ago before this video shown and they've stashed their weapons. Maybe they've just come out of a tunnel and they're heading towards whatever. H how do we know? Maybe Israel has used its facial recognition software or other intelligence to identify one of these men as a Hamas leader, as a commander. Maybe these men are heading towards a weapons cache and are about to kill some Israeli soldiers. I mean, I don't know. But how does Joe Rogan know? I mean, naive, no, he's not naive. Come on, Andrew. Oh, am I naive? Maybe I'm naive. He's an idiot. I mean, how do you come to conclusions like this? Where is thinking? Thinking? Thinking, you know, that? But this is not difficult. A war zone. Four men are walking. Oh, they don't wear uniforms. They're not wearing uniforms. They must be civilians. I mean, that would be true in a real, you know, uh, you know war between, I, guess, I don't know, European countries or something. 
But we know that Hamas never wears uniforms, at least since October 7th, no Hamas fighter has worn a uniform. They all are in civilians. I know you meant Joe, but I don't think he's naive. I think he's stupid. It's motivated stupidity, but it's stupid. I mean, every single Hamas fighter out there is in civilian clothes. They drop their weapons and they walk into a crowd. They pick up weapons somewhere else and they go fight. Yes, Joe Rogan has 14.9 million subscribers. Everybody sees this, right? And it's Joe Rogan. He's like super smart. He, he interviews the biggest names, the biggest names in the world. He is the, the biggest talk show host on the planet right now. Him and Tucker, I guess. And what's he implying that uh, Israel just killed them? Why? They're not hurting anybody. It's not a danger to anybody. Really? How do we know that? I, you know, it's just God. Where's, why isn't he interviewing some Navy SEAL who can explain this to him? It's insane. But this is the attitude. And, and, and this is a constant drone. And this is, he's concerned about Candace Owen. This is Candace Owen. Why was she fired? Because she's an anti-Semite. And Ben Shapiro and the people at the Daily Wire had enough. Because she's clearly an anti-Semite. That's why she was fired. Anybody? Yeah, right. They just bombed them. They just yeah, no, bombed them. Sure. It's just like for Biden or whoever you like, you're supposed to cover up for them because. But the whole thing yeah. is like they're always saying they're only targeting Hamas and everybody else is a casualty. Well, if those guys are just unarmed civilians and they're walking alone, that's what they appear to be. Dresden. And how do you know this? They appear to be just people just walking along, civilians. How does he know this? I mean, really, how does Joe Rogan know this? I mean, it, it, does he have any frigging responsibility with 14.9 million subscribers to think before he speaks, to do a little bit of research before he spouts this nonsense? Then, and you just blast them from the sky with robots. Yeah, you blast them with the sky with robots. Cost a fortune, these robots. Every one of those missiles, that was one of the guy who escaped from the first bombing, they went after him and killed him. You, you think they just do that to an arbitrary civilian, drop a $150,000 bomb on him just because, for fun? I, I, what, what do you think they're doing here? I mean, but he says it with no... No hesitation. No, well, maybe, I don't understand. Maybe we can get somebody to explain this. Maybe we can call somebody who knows something about this. This is the tragedy of war. Yeah, this is insane. And no one knows what to think now, because if you can't talk about that, if you can't say that's real, then you're saying that genocide is okay as long as we're doing it. And... Yeah, there it is. Genocide is okay as long as we're doing it. He called it genocide. That's, that is what we're saying. And if you're saying that from a perspective of someone who literally went through the Holocaust, or your, your people, your tribe, went through the fucking Holocaust, and now you're willing to do it? I hope the irony is not lost on you. It, 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 it's so nuts. It's so hard to imagine that someone where a, cul a culture, like a country was like officially founded in, what, 47? 48. 48? Okay. Officially founded. So that's so recent. <laughs> and, you, and you guys are willing to do what was done to you that led you to believe that you needed to start your own country? You're yeah. willing to do that at least on a small scale in Gaza? Like, there's nothing left. I mean, what do you do about that? He basically said Israel's committing genocide. He basically said, Israel's doing to the Palestinians what the Nazis did to the Jews. He, equivoca he, equi he equivocated between the two. Israel's doing it on a smaller scale. Only two million people, I guess, versus six. But it's the same thing. 
There's no difference. 14.1 million people. I don't know how many people have watched that. Many, many, many millions, probably many more than 14.9 because it's making the rounds. This is what Joe Rogan thinks now. Joe Rogan's not exactly a rabid leftist. He's not some crazy person on the left. He is now, I don't know, mainstream center right? I, right? I don't know what you make of Joe Rogan. But now, whatever Joe Rogan is, yeah, Israel's committing genocide, no question, because they killed four guys, and I, you know, I didn't see any weapons, and I don't see any, like, they didn't wear those jackets. You know how the FBI wears jackets, and it says FBI? They weren't wearing the Hamas jackets. There was no Hamas jacket on them. They weren't wearing the Hamas hats with the, with the, with the little, the, the, you know, uh, thing to let the Israelis know where to shoot them. Um, so uh, they're obviously not Hamas members. So Israel's obviously now going around Gaza with $150,000 bom bombs and, and, and killing the Palestinians one by one in an attempt to commit genocide. I, you know, and I look to see, has anybody criticized this? Not much. Not much. Everybody's just silent. I mean, generally, I think what's happening right now is that the genocide rhetoric is winning. It's demonstration after demonstration after demonstration in New York and everywhere else, sit-ins at Stanford University and everywhere else. And I, I think everybody else is fatigued. And they're just like, OK, give them the genocide thing, and let's go on with our lives. And the victim here is going to be Israel on a grand scale, on a grand scale. Right. The uh, photos, by the way, if you watch the video, I, I mean, there are not a lot of weird things about this video. This video was released by Al Jazeera. When asked how they got the video, they claim they got it from a down drone, a drone that was knocked down. But if you know anything about drones, they don't actually store the video on the drone. The video is sent back. And if they do store the video on the drone, it's encrypted. So there's no way they got this video from a drone. My guess is somebody in Israel leaked it. But you know, the drone follows these four guys, shoots, two of them get away, and then it goes, finds the other two and shoots them. Why would it do that? Unless these were, for whatever reason, important targets that Israel thought it was necessary to kill. So, yeah, I mean, but, but it didn't take me long to do a little bit of research about drones and about the storage and about where Al Jazeera got the video or any of that. But why would Joe even do it? I mean, he's only got 14.9 million viewers and they are not particularly care about the facts. So why make the effort to provide them with facts? That's just a waste of time. He's gonna make his $250 million no matter what.